Okay. Today, today's celebration is well, it, it is what you said, a celebration. It's a celebration of achievement. It's a celebration of uh, of, of of commitment. It's a celebration of vision, and it's a celebration of leadership. Uh, we're celebrating the achievement of Saint Luke's uh, surgeons who've done. 2,500 robotic surgeries in the past 15 years. It's a feat that no other hospital in the Philippines has achieved. Uh, it's also a, it's also a celebration of our commitment to pushing the boundaries of uh, technological advances in, in surgery uh, towards minimally minimally invasive surgery. Uh, it's also a celebration of our patients, patients who in the very beginning when this technology was very new entrusted their care to us. And, and has achieved the outcomes that we want them to achieve. And finally, it's a celebration of the vision of St. Luke's in giving unparalleled patient care that's you know guided by excellence and innovation. Uh, and innovation is, is, is the key, is, and it really is the, is the key word for tonight. We've, we've pivoted and we've uh, leveraged technological innovation, particularly robotic surgery, into, into uh, uh, an example of bringing world-class care to our patients. Okay. Sir, so since um, St. Luke's has been the home of many first in terms of um, robotic surgeries, no, in 2010, it was the first to acquire the Da Vinci uh, C robotic surgery. Since 2019, you crossed the first 1,000 robotic surgery. So in, uh, less than, in about six years, now, nasa 2,500 na. What does this mean about, um, kasi sobrang bilis nung ano eh, no? it was so rapid. So the adoption of technology, the development, the, the honing of the skills, and the acceptance of patients is exponential. Yes. You will see that we've celebrated our first 1,000 patients after what, almost 10 years yes. of, of doing that. But when patients started seeing the advantages of robotic surgery, when doctors started believing that this is really better for my patients, mm -hmm. there were greater adoptions. Mm -hmm. Whereas when we started in 2010, we had a handful, we had exactly 10 surgeons who trained mm -hmm. in, in five different specialties. Yes. And these were only the 10 surgeons who were pushing this, who were, who were pushing this technology. But slowly over that, over that decade, we were able to convince that everyone mm -hmm. that this is, the, this is the future of surgery mm -hmm. and that this is the way to offer better care to our patients. That's why we're seeing, you know, we're seeing a, a, an exponential an exponential increase in the number of cases. Case in point is, you know, we 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 recently acquired the new a new robot for Quezon City, for St. Luke's Quezon City, and that was a little over a year ago. But the numbers of Quezon City have so have encompassed more, more than the first five years of the initial robot acquisition in Global City.